Welcome back, everybody, to Season 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Draft Duel. I'm Faker, and alongside my friend Luke, we make up Quest Log. In this series, we'll be opening packs, building decks, and dueling each other in a best 2 out of 3 to determine that episode's winner. This time around, though, we've got a couple changes made from the first season that I think might just interest you. So stick around, and let's get ready to duel. You didn't really think that you would stop me, did you? Yes, I did! Oh, no! <laughs> Welcome back for another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Draft Duel, Episode 4. We have our bans today. Uh, every three episodes, we are going to be doing our bannings. Luke got swept uh, pretty pretty easily uh, these past three episodes, so he will be getting two bans and two limits, and I will be getting one ban and one limit. So let's jump right into those and see how this episode goes. All right, we are here with the bans and limits. Uh, Andrew's been kicking my butt, so we'll see if this can actually make a difference or if I'm just going to keep getting steamrolled. Yeah, you know, I think that I'll take it because you and I have kind of gone 50-50 on this series so far, uh, ex with the exception of this season, which has been very, very lopsided. So I will, if we're a 3-0 lead, I will take one ban and one limit. So why don't you tell me what you got first, buddy? Uh, well, you know, I'll always have normal rare. Um, I am going to first ban is going to be Ultimate Conductor Tyranna. Okay. All right. I I, I, I kind of expected something from the Dino package would be getting hit, and I think that hitting the boss as opposed to like the enablers is probably probably the right hit. Yeah, um, I thought about hitting like Misk or uh, uh, Over Raptor, but right. or or Baby Dino or Fossil Dig, but there's so yeah, the many. Thing. There's so many. Like the whole th that whole deck is just extension and enablers. And it's like, I might as well just hit the problem at its core. Yeah, hit the, hit the payoff. That makes sense. For my one and only ban, I'm going to be banning Boot Sector Launch. Uh, I don't think that I can ban the Link one, because then you, you, you knowing you, you're just going to draw the field spell. Uh, and I think that the, like the, what that enables with getting those big monsters onto the field, like the bodies aren't that bad if you can't just special summon them for free. Yeah, I mean, I... I... I kind of saw that coming. I, I I thought you were either going to ban that or ban Max C, and you obviously haven't been too worried about Max C. So, uh, yeah, I, I no, I'm not. Why surprised. would I be worried about Max C? All know. your cards are terrible. Well, you know, you don't have to do me like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what, uh, what's your sec what's your second ban? Uh, my second ban is going to be Numeron Network. Uh, the one of the 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 one of dude really yeah but it lets you use all their effects without detaching material and uh i don't like being numeron i'll take that i got my one episode of laughs with it and 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 the episode wasn't wasted because i still have uh the extra deck monsters so you know what i'll take it let's move on to the limits for my one and only limit, I am going to be limiting Rocket Synchron. Um, I know that like without Boost Sector Launch, it's not as good, but that's the card that allows you to like enables uh, Boreload Savage Dragon super easily, and I want it gone. Yeah, if I have any seven uh, Dragon Engrave, so I, yeah. I, I get that. I get that, and I mean I could still play it at one, but like it'd be pretty hard to find. So, um, all right. So for my first limit, I am going to. Limit a card that I always limit. Yeah, and that I know. is unexpected die because you have yeah. that stupid. You somehow have hacked Master Duel. Yeah, and and activated <laughs> yeah. The, a Duel Link style skill that says at the start of the duel, add unexpected die to your uh, hand. <laughs> dude. Uh, Duel Links Thursdays is just Duel Links Saturdays whenever I've got an expected die. So I'm, I'm okay. But I, I, I literally was like, oh, my pool is so good that there's no way that he's going to like spend the limit on a card that we both have three of and would benefit us both. But, well, you know, I have the fun. oldest starter deck known to man, and it did not come with unexpected die. <laughs> All right, buddy. And the second limit that you have is? Uh, it's going to be Dried Winds, the trap card. Uh, right. I, that but, deck made me mauled so hard and I just, I uh, screw it. Screw that deck. Screw that trap. All right. I, I think that the ability of that deck to like board clear without getting the dried winds pop is probably, probably not that good. Uh, it's still like a decent control strategy, but I think I'm moving on past that if I can't pop cards. So you know what? 
that's fine. We're we're moving on to the next three. Everyone's going to have a change of luck, and uh, and you know, hopefully that these duels go a little bit better for you. Yeah, I hope so. Well, we will uh, see you all back in the, the duels. Here we are, episode four pulls. Um, before this begins, we are going to uh, be informed by Luke what he is banning and limiting. Um, so we are probably going to have to play entirely new strategies. That is terrible not a great start um but we are going to need to like really pull something interesting here uh that's going to give us like a fresh start after after we walk away with the bands so let's see what we can get into here um triple burst dragon we can just go after him garbage ogre paradox is terrible security dragon is like potentially like something we can make like that's not a terrible generic um we really don't want to go into malefics i think that that deck is just unbelievably bad um we have bow wow bark oh nova nova's actually kind of crazy microcell nothing really uh nothing really here there's a world where like we can theoretically use nova in some decks to like cheat out something a bit higher level but you know we'll have to see rocket arrow express one by one the time wizard of tomorrow uh that is not going to be summonable in anything that we do Rocket Arrow Express, uh, I don't know if you guys remember from the first season. Let's go. Yes, ultra rare. But uh, Luke tried to make Rocket Arrow Express on me, and uh, it ended up just losing him the entire episode. So I will not be summoning that. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. And this was an upgrade. Heavy Metal Foes, Electromite, Juju, and Alembertian. Oh my god. This is just... I mean, this is the end of the series, right? Any of these decks are going to be ridiculous. I mean, like, I think any of these is just insane, right? I think vo Virtual World is actually pretty low rarity, except for what we just pulled. Uh, this, like, changes everything. Uh, this is going to be a huge decision that we go into. I almost don't want to pull anything else, just because, like, overcomplicating the decision even more is just going to be, like, insane. V uh, Vortex Dragon, hey, it wouldn't be a pen, uh, pen strategy without Vortex Dragon. Fool, DD Warrior Lady, Dwemer Glimmer. Okay, wow. That is nuts. Uh, let's just... Uh, is that a... Is that like... Or am I being debated here? Is it real? No, it's really real. Oh my god. And an Italis Mandra. This is terrible. If a face of X Saber Monsters on the field target two X Saber Monsters in any graveyard, you know, just in case we go into the draft X Saber Mirror match, special summon both your side of the field. That, my friends, is dust. We will be uh, almost certainly using that. Just the worst. Um, Lady Earth, Ge. Wow, Ge's like actually kind of playable. Phoenix Wind, Wind that's like my second copy of Phoenix Wind, uh, Wind Blast. We're like almost out of playset, and we haven't even gone to a set that has it. Um, what do we got here? A Chaos Exceeds monster, FA Dead Heat. Nothing really good. Is this a three level fours? Yeah. Like, we have the rank up magic, so like there's a world where that's playable, but like, I don't know. We will have to, uh, we're gonna have to see. That was like the whole point of going into the, the pack that we did last episode. Um, okay. Oh, Trimid Pulse is cool. Mask of Restrict and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Eland. Ritual Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. That, like, actually is worth consideration. But you really need, like, the, the rank four. Could you imagine if I Mask of Restricted on... And he was, like, using that stupid Tribute Dragon? That's, like, a terrible play. But it's, like, something that's theoretically possible. All right, we got some good stuff in here. Oh my God, we have just been showered. To those who have everything, more will be given. Shark Drake's crazy. Um, I can craft a second one of those. Okay, first off, uh, wow. Um, yeah, we'll get that. This is nuts. Teresia, Juju, Alan Bershin, Electromite. And then, like, Shark Drake is just also very good. Like, that might warrant play. This is insane, man. We are, uh, we're for sure gonna have some decisions that we have to make. All right, welcome back. Um, we're gonna be doing our polls. I, I've been getting absolutely trashed. I have my bands and limits in mind, and I have no idea what Andrew's gonna hit. So, uh, with all that being said, I think we're gonna go into drop -off. And let's hope we get a good secret pack, because, uh, if not, well, 
season might be over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, Baba Ba Barber. I love this card. It's actually hilarious. Uh, oh, baited, bro. Really? Please give me the Prank Kid Ojama pack. That pack sucks, but I love it. Okay. We're not off to a great start. And bait it again. Can I please get a secret pack? Okay. There's a Time Lord. Tri Brigades. Interesting. I think this is the full one of Albaz pack. That's a really high rarity pack, but it might be the only one we get to open. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, what? What? I. If I only have one pack to open, uh, I think we'll. I, I don't even know what we'll do. We'll just cry. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Has this ever happened to you? Like a bad infomercial. <sighs> it's not what I meant by more secret packs. More good secret packs, please. Okay, yeah, that th I think think some of those qualify, actually. Believe it or not. Uh huh. Obviously, I'm talking about Alien Hunter. Such a good card. Final pack of the bundle. Black Horn of Heaven's just a good pickup. <laughs> yeah, uh, that card's actually getting banned. And wow, that's just a good card to have. All right, well, we uh, we picked up some decent uh, packs here. Uh, I'll see you back in a minute when we go into the Seer pack. All right, everybody. So we have decided after much deliberation that we are going to be going into Singular Strike Overthrow. That's right. It is the Sky Striker and Mathemech pack. Now, anybody who knows me uh, knows that I have a deep hatred of Sky Striker, but anyone who also knows me knows that I like winning Yu-Gi-Oh! duels. Um, I actually want to go into a pack that has a main deck ultra rare that I can craft, um, and this pack has four, only one for Mathemechs. And I pulled an Alan Bershon. So like my hope is that we pull really heavy on the math mechs and then I get to just like craft circular. Um, but there's also a world where like we pull really heavy on the Sky Striker and I just end up crafting Engage. Um, there's also a world where we pull like garbage and you know, we're just like starting with, you know, Cybers special summon beat down, but without any of the advantage of like Luke's Cybers pulls. So uh, maybe we're coping. I'm not 100% sure, but what I am sure is that we're going to get into 10 packs of this set, and I need to see a lot of purple, baby. Okay, um, this is good. Like, this is good. This is fine. I can live with this. Like, I feel like we need more ultras than, like, is normal. Obviously, everyone's, like, praying for ultras all the time, right? But, like, I think we need them more than normal. Uh, Book of Moon, crazy. Uh, we got a thing I've never read, and then we've got some Math Max and a Rose. Uh, but Book of Moon, hey, like, I'll take that all the time. That's going to get played in pretty much everything. Uh, that, like, interrupts his Borlo Savage plays. All right. We've got an Ultra Front. We've got two. That's worthless. That's insane. That is good. It's not what we want to see. I really want to see more Math Mech stuff. Don't make me play Striker. Because I'm not going to play like a... I'm not going to pull like a uh, Kagari, you know? Like, there's no way. Uh, pulling the Laplacian is actually pretty sick. Okay. We got an upgrade. Just let it be an upgrade from the pack. All right. 50-50 down the middle, I'll take it. Okay, there's a Hayate, Super Factorial, and Hornet Drones. Okay. Okay, that's great. Like, I feel like we're approaching a world where we just pull, like, 50-50 down the middle. 
for each archetype, which is not like that's the worst place to be from the pack. Let's go. All right. Um, if it's a Kagari, then I'm fine with all this striker crap. If it's a uh, Geo Math Mech Final Sigma, not gonna lie, that might be the one that I'm like least excited to see. Um, I, I I don't know how you make Sigma. I know there's a way. I'll have to figure it out. Rose Hayate Kaina. This is what I was worried about, right? Like pulling a bunch of rare. Uh, rare quality extra deck monsters that just like don't get me anywhere. Like I haven't pulled a single ray. Uh, equation edition. Okay, well, hey, yeah, you know what? There's the ray uh, and a Hayate. Man, I just like these packs with multiple archetypes in it are just like heartbreaking because you can't just like be happy when you pull an, an ultra. Second ray division diameter equation cracked, but like again, 50 50 down the middle, right? Hmm. Okay, that's that's not what we want. Okay, really? Really? Okay, nuts. Not great. That doesn't do any... Whoa! This is the guy from the, the other Time Thief uh, Exceeds monster. I didn't even see him. Okay, so there is another Time Thief. Winder. Huh, that's interesting. Um, diameter multiplication. We got some, like, striker stuff. I feel like the math mechs... Are like leading out, you know, because I just feel like we don't have enough spells. If we pull a third ray, really, that is heartbreaking. Uh, third ray, no, that's hilarious. That's really, really funny. Oh my gosh, none of these are ever gonna get played, but I feel like we're like perfectly down the middle with these archetypes. Like, it's really gonna end up coming down to craft, and we have the triple. We have the triple ray now. I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, okay, jamming waves, multi roll, some, some, or some. Sigma. I think that, like, I think that does it. I feel like we have to go into math mech now. Like, we don't, we didn't pull any of the high rarity uh, Sky Striker extra deck monsters, and we can't craft them either. Um, division, multiplication, jamming waves, and Zeke, and that's like not enough to like get me in that direction because we're like, we're sitting here on a hamp. And a Zeke. And then, like, look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's, 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 well, I guess it's not like that bad. It could be worse. Triple Ray, double addition, a subtraction, rows, rows, diameter, diameter. So we could craft, like, one diameter, another addition. Um, and then we pulled, like, the division. We could craft, like, another multiplication or, like, another equation. I, I feel like Math Mech is probably the way to go because we we're, we're sitting on a laplacian and an allen version and then we just like craft a circular and we pulled the sigma too like for sure it's math max yeah 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 all right guys let's get into the deck all right so after some careful consideration uh i think we're going to go into the trickstar marincess pack uh you know if it worked for mbt it can work for me right that's because that's how that works uh just kidding it's because all the other packs were either dog water or okay that's not bad uh, or just like two Albaz and Punk were both so high rare. Uh, I do get an SR craft. Okay, we got some Trickstar shit. Um, Marincess Seahorse. I don't know anything about these cards, so. Outside the pack. Grave Diggers. That's a good card. Two current, another Seahorse, a Crimson Heart. I was actually really tempted to go in the volcanic pack just because I really like volcanics. It's like a I have like a, a they're like my anime deck, you know. Like that's that's the deck that when I think of you, know, I'm like, yeah, volcanics. Uh, it's actually what my speed duel deck is. Inside the pack, you are. It can only be Trickstar because Marin says his SR are below. Uh, Candina is pretty good. It's just a good normal summon. I mean, and it burns. We got two waves. That's not bad. Festival, a light arena, Pascalis, and a Crimson Heart. we know he's going to hit our rocket engine. Ooh, there's a blue tang. Alright, okay. 
a seahorse and a di div Divoritus. She trickstar on my Divoritus till I Marincess? I don't fucking know. We could do some nurse burn. <laughs> nurse burn trickstar? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Uh, there's a playset of Wave. There's a Bella Madonna. I don't know what any of these do. Dude, stop giving me waves, please. I have enough of them. I have like six. Master Duel is saying hello to me and I, I don't want it to. Yo, Blackluster Soldier! Let's go. Oh, hey, an outside the pack bubble ring. Another freaking wave. Can you please stop? Uh, cat bat. Okay. What are the trick star monsters? Are they just like. What are they? They're just all like anime girls? I don't understand. And a crown tail. Blast pack. Well, can we end on a hollow, guys? Can we end on a hollow? Blue slug. And a single copy of Wonderheart. We also picked up that heart. Okay, well, uh, honestly, not exactly what we were looking for, but we we can probably make something work. So, I'll uh, see you guys back here with the deck profile. All right, everybody, we are here with the deck. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was kind of hoping that we would make it out of there with Unexpected Die still at three. Uh, I kind of figured that our decks were strong enough that we would be able to like keep him looking somewhere else. Um, but at this point, it's just a tradition. On the first ban list of every draft duel, he's going to hit Unexpected Die. I guess I should just get used to it. Um, I think that this deck is unstoppable. We didn't pull as many of the extenders as we wanted, um, but like with our crafts, I think that this is just enough to smash him. Going down the list, uh, we are still playing the one and one unexpected die Megalo Smasher uh, because there's a world where like even if I open the Megalo Smasher, I can still extend with any of the extenders and then just like go into Alan version anyway. We have an Iron Dragon Tiamaton um, because it is a free four that we can summon if the columns align. We have a Sigma, three addition, one subtraction, three multiplication, three division, and three diameter. And then our ultra rare craft for the episode is one Mathmex Circular. Um, this is the glue that makes the whole deck work. We've got a Ghidarla, a Divine Serpent Get, a Swords of Revealing Light, three Mathmex Equation, a Small World, two Billion Blade Nayuta? I think that's what it is. Three Mystical Space Typhoon, a Book of Moon, two Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, two Memory of an Adversary, a Mathmex Super Factorial, one Call of the Haunted, three Induction, and the extra deck is just crazy. We've got a Colossal Fighter, a Geomathmex Final Sigma, a Kachikochi Dragon, number 32 Shark Drake, two Black Ship of Corn, a Crazy Box, a Heartland Draco, and a Malevolent Sin. These are our remnants from going into that uh, box that was just banned out from underneath us. We got a Laplacian, an Alan Burshan, a Security Dragon, an Update Jammer, a Triple Burst Dragon, and a Berserker of the Tenyi. Um, I think that this is going to be effortless. I just hope that he has something to fight back against us. All right. Well, welcome back. Uh, we're going to go over the deck profile for Episode 4. Uh, it's not good. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Um, we're playing Crawler Mech Knights with, like, Adhara, Unknown Synchron, and a Falco to try to see if we could maybe make one of these three Synchro Monsters. And then we've got, like, a weird little Link core. We also picked up a couple decent traps. Black Horn of Heaven and Gravedigger's Trap Hole are pretty good. We have three of the Crawler Searcher, uh, or Excavator, I guess. So that's decent. We really didn't pull enough Light Star, uh, or sorry, Trick Star, or uh, Marincess monsters to make that playable. Um, I haven't decided what my crafts are gonna be for those that secret pack yet. Uh, I'm gonna figure that out later. Uh, the bands and limits did hurt. I'm really not going to be able to play the rocket monsters or as a full deck anymore. However, 
uh, Andrew left us Boreload Savage Dragon and Boral Guard Dragon completely untouched. So, I don't know what he was thinking there, but it gives us a little bit of something to do. So, yeah, that's it. See you guys in the duel. Fantastic. Now, uh, I hope you win the, the coin flip. Because I, there you go. Because I actually have no idea what I'm I want. Go and so second. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll just I'll just figure it out. Um, now, I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. The question here is, does my skill still work? Oh, okay, that's not bad. Um, oh, you're running this, the one of? You're running the one of unexpected die? I do. You know, I tell, you know I'm going to. All right, so this is actually the worst hand that this is capable of putting up. Really? Yeah, it is, um, but I think it actually still works. I am going to begin by normal summoning Megalo Smasher X. Okay, that's a card I've seen before. Yep, and then I'm going to activate the hand. No effect way, dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. No way. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> He's literally me for real, for real. <laughs> I'm going to make Alan version. Jesus. <laughs> And then we'll go Al Inversion Effect. Uh, we'll detach to... How am uh, I going to compete with this? <laughs> and then we're going to add... How many, how uh, many circular did you pull? Be, be, um, on, be real with me. Yeah, I actually did not pull a single circular, uh, but Thank I did God. craft one. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. now, yeah, Ultra Rare Main Deck Craft. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're yeah, going yeah, to yeah. go circular, and we don't have... Um, we already have the Sigma Engrave, and we've only got the one... So we'll go like send division, uh huh, to like summon circular. Yeah, and we're not gonna go graveyard effective division because that like doesn't do anything. Um, and then what do we want to do here? We can. Well, it would do something. You would just have one of your own monsters attack. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go Alan Burshin, and then we'll go like Alan Burshin to. It See, this is target. the problem with you non-math mech players. You don't. Know yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> like we get so much crap. Yeah, uh, we'll go like circular and yeah. Uh huh. I've never we'll seen go... this combo before, actually. I'm actually. sure. I'm sure. Uh, we are going to. Man, I'm glad I chose to go second. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna add equation. Or right, and then. Are you gonna make final sigma? Are you gonna final sigma me? I actually can't, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't have one? Uh, I don't have a tuner. We'll go what are division. You, what are you talking about? Oh, that is a tuner. Yeah. Yo! Let's go, boy! Uh, we're going to go circular division, all that yeah, nonsense. Yeah, uh -huh, you're going to make final sigma. And then we're turn one of the first And you game remembered to put it in the EMZ, too. I was so <laughs> hoping you were going to forget. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. Uh, we're going to set one, set two, and then we'll just, like, pass on this, okay? You, you didn't want to summon another monster just to be a uh, butthead? <laughs> well, that's, listen, that's me, man. All right. Oh, that was awesome. All right, we're going to activate World Legacy Survivor. Um, oh. Okay. This is old. You've gone into this pack before. There's the Pravi. Okay, okay, okay. So you can add what? The, the spine? Uh, yes, but... Okay. Yeah, I'll add the spine. Alright, unaffected by grave. card. And then buddy. we're going to activate Shadal Falco... Okay, hey, it's just a free summon. To summon in face down defense. Okay. I think we're just gonna set. Okay, could be literally anything. Set. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, uh, during the end phase, we're gonna super factorial. Yeah, that's yeah, that is a thing that you can do. We will go one and two and three, <laughs> and we are just gonna we're just gonna make Laplacian. Two and three for the boy Laplacian. This deck is so sick, man. Like now I know why you like it so much. Yeah, it's uh, a great deck, dude. It's I mean, it does a lot of things. We'll go Laplacian effect discard. 
And we're gonna like- No! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Whoa, why didn't you lava golem me? You only had <laughs> one monster! Oh face. no, that's true. <laughs> okay. Oh god. You're not gonna attack? It's your turn, bud. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was during your end phase. No, bro, I'm not gonna sweep you. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, we are gonna go, uh, we're gonna activate the effective addition. Targeting, like, Final Sigma. Providence? Uh... Providence? Does he have the Providence? Providence? No. Hmm. We'll, like, summon and then just, like, boost. And then, uh, we will... Normal summon multiplication. Yeah. And then... Uh, what do we even want to do here? We can... Oh, wait, we're actually Cybers locked. Oh, you... I, that's me playing around the Cybers lock, man. All right, um, we're, we'll go to battle, and we'll go, like, 2k over. Please don't, like, have the biggest butt I've ever seen in my life. It's the smallest butt my, like... No. Stuff. And no you one, knew what it was. You knew what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And no, oh, that's true. And no other uh, Shadal monster. And we'll just hit for 45. And just, like, pray that we don't get absolutely annihilated on the crackback. Dude, if you had been able to Lava Golem my final Sigma, that would have been the craziest turn one yeah, of Yeah, I was so games. excited. But no. <laughs> that's why I was like, you didn't want to put another monster on the field? Uh... <laughs> Main decking lava golem. That, that would have that would have been a, the heartbreaking moment of the century. Okay. Oh yeah. I, I just will never play around columns. I guess. I mean, you know, I don't. Yeah. I don't play yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, and then what does this do? Target a favorite monster you control. Wait, this isn't what I wanted to do. Okay. You're just gonna Never book mind. your own book your no, guy. I, I, I thought it was something else. I thought it was something. Else. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, I actually can't really do anything here. I should have summoned that in defense, but that's okay. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, we'll just, like, book a moon. <laughs> You'll get it in okay, defense yeah. either way. Yeah. <laughs> it's going in defense either way. I need to cha turn my chains off, because it's going to keep asking me if I want to activate bonds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, that's when you just keep that trigger finger on the, uh, on the escape button. All right. Yeah. And, and we go. We draw for turn. Um, it's, it would be nasty if your card freaking <laughs> was, was affected. <laughs> yeah. Oh, true, true, true. Um, we're going to go, like, go one, two. And we'll just, like, link these guys into Malevolent Sin. Yeah, sure. We'll go, like, Malevolent Sin, detach to, like, banish. Yeah, and then we're going to chain... To... Yeah, flip the flip the crawler guy. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And then you're gonna you get to like pop something, right? That's the pop guy. Yes. Yeah. Or mm. no? No, it is. I'm just gonna double final sigma's attack. Oh, gotcha, turn. gotcha. You. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, spine will get to pop sin. Okay, buddy. Multiplication is an insane card. That even counts if it's sent as, um... Oh, I've literally never read. <laughs> Why does every monster in your deck have the most defense of any monster I've ever seen? I don't know, man. I don't know what oh, you're talking about. They're huge. Wow, that's so helpful here, bro. Holy uh, crap. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I get this back. Yeah, it's temporary. I was just planning on OTKing. I'm oh, I wasn't killing either way. I'm gonna flip this to face up defense. Okay, yeah, you'll get your guy back. Yeah. And then I'm and gonna Oh wait, I can't do that anymore. Dang it! Hmm. That actually screws me up. Oh I mean I I don't think I missed lethal, but that was that was a brutal game one. Okay. You're not gonna try and run over the Laplacian. No, I'm scared. Okay, okay. Uh that is like decent. Well, okay, we can do this. 
So we'll like set can, one. Can you pop this pawns? Because it's not doing anything for me right now, and it keeps <laughs> asking me to activate it. Are you gonna have like seven thousand defense again? No, dendrite. no, That's it's just dendrite. a coolest burial. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I can send that horror. Okay. Yeah. This is this is the pile deck of pile decks, man. Okay. Yellow Star is like gone for real. We we we've plussed a million in this matchup and still like not been able to close it out. Which is crazy. How sick is it though that I managed to get into Math Max though, man? I was so excited to show you. We're gonna special summon unknown synchron. Yeah, buddy. Uh we're gonna flip induction. What is this? Target one I control. Oh. Yeah, I just pop a card, but like it also is an attack boost, which is pretty cool. It lets me find lethal potentially. Yeah. Uh, I... I mean, depending on the back row, there is, you know, Drowning Mirror Force is always an option. All right. Oh my God. Oh, God. Oh, yes, sir. We are going to put activate Math Mech Billion Blade N -t -n Nayuta. Oh, I've I, I've seen this card before. <laughs> I was so excited to pull this. I was like, this is like the Luke's favorite garbage tech. Uh, oh yeah, we'll it's, go it's great. Uh, uh, our, our viewers don't know, but on my main like Master Duel account, uh, the deck that I'm currently building is Math Mech oh. Frank Kids, and it's like the worst pile of garbage ever, and I love it. Game one, we are t walking away with. Yeah, yeah, that's just like your favorite like decks from the beginning of you playing Yu-Gi-Oh, just like smushed together. What would you like for game two? Uh, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, Math Max. Yeah, they can, you can go first. Okay. Uh, that is fine. Well, you win the die roll, so you get to pick. There is no update jammer access code shenaniganery like in store. You definitely don't have to worry about that. Okay. Wow, this is the hand of all time. This is this is the hand of all time. <laughs> well, let's see what you got, buddy. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> now, hold on. Let me make sure that this this works. Okay. Now, Luke, Andrew, you didn't really think that you would stop me, did you? Yes, I did. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no! My die! <laughs> that was unexpected, oh. wasn't it? I was, dude. When I opened it, I was so happy. I was so happy. All right. You thought uh, your silly dueling skill would be useful to you, didn't you, Andrew? Uh. Little did you know you're a fourth-rate duelist with a fifth-rate deck. All right, we're gonna special summon Sigma. Never mind. <laughs> uh, this isn't. I don't know. This isn't. This isn't crazy. He's, I don't know like why you'd set it oh. main phase one, but we'll... um, because I was trying to do some column stuff. I was gonna do some column stuff. Oh well, I just gave you. It ended up not. Yeah, it ended. Well, no, it's okay. It ended up not like mattering that much. Um, we will go, and we'll just like. XC summon Alan version. Yeah, I was like, okay, maybe I can do like one, two, three, but it, it, it ended up not mattering because I can actually just make uh, Alan version anyway. So we'll like just send these two. Having Sigma just like for all the time, like the fact that you can just use Sigma from Grave whenever is really, really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's once per turn, but you know. It is. Use. Right. Yeah. Um. So what if we send like. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure you just put lethal on board here, right? Like, no, 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 no. You're pretty sure that you would be able to put lethal on board here. Oh, <laughs> well, true. Yeah, true. Um, but we'll go like Alambertian and then like send itself to bring back uh, like multiplication. I think is right. Now I understand. I and then we'll go. Understand. What do you understand? I understand what it's like to play against me. <laughs> Except I'm worse uh, at Yu-Gi-Oh than you are. <laughs> uh, like marginally, we'll bring back Sigma, uh, and then we will go. Are you gonna one... synchro twelve again? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna keep making the man, man. Yep. Uh, yep. We'll go multiplication, just like double. Uh, we'll move to. How many diameter did you pull? Uh, I pulled a playset. I just haven't opened it. Like, yeah. I th diameter's only on normal summon, though, right? That you, that you get the uh, the like special. Yeah. Well, that you get the special from Grave. Yeah. But if you send yeah. it, so like, uh, I'm gonna activate World Legacy and Shadow. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna activate the Surrender button. No! Oh my God! Uh, I told I told you! I told you! Okay. Yeah, that was insane. All right, two zero sweep, bro. That I mean, I don't know what to tell you. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. All right, uh, that was uh, honestly what I expected. On <laughs> to be completely honest. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Well, so I don't know how we're gonna come back from this, but uh, but we'll see. Can I put a little salt in the wound? Sure, go for it. I did not play any of the bundle uh, bundle pack guaranteed cards, like staples. No Ash, no Solemn Judgment, like no nothing like that in this deck. Yeah, uh-huh. You're just flexing. <laughs> um, so for the viewers, uh, just so you guys are aware, because of this, we kind of suspected this might happen. Um, Luke is going to be getting some additional uh, benefits for before the next episode. He's going to get uh, a UR craft of his choice, and he's going to be able to go into 10 packs of a secret pack of his choice. He actually doesn't have to unlock it, um, just because we're kind of concerned that this might be a little bit unbalanced. And that's so, on top uh, of my normal loser craft yeah. and pulls for the week. So, yep. so we'll hopefully we can get helps. the balance up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Hope that you enjoyed. For a lot of you, this will probably be your first episode of um, Draft Duel that you guys watched. So I hope it was a good one for you. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a good Bye. one. Bye.